Doug, did you get any reaction from managers around the league about what you did, whether it be text or whatever? And do you think there could be more of these soon because of the result here? Uh, I did talk to some guys, uh, not not a lot. Uh, I, I think there was a, you know, obviously I've read on, on what, what people are writing and that, and uh, if there is a GM code not to do offer sheets, no nobody emailed it to me. Uh, th this this is a tool that I think everyone uses and and should use. And uh, you know, like I think I think it was reported that I wouldn't have done this to Kenny Hall, and that's that's the truth. Quite honestly, I'd do it to my mother if she was managing the Oilers. My my job is to to take care of the St. Louis Blues fans and the St. Louis Blues organization. And we saw an opportunity to do that. And uh, so there, there, there's no code. I, I, I did talk to some people in the league and, and, and I think JR, you and I talked about it. I think offer sheets are there. If you think you're going to get the player, I don't believe in offer sheets to harm an organization, uh, meaning, you know, put an offer sheet on because that, that at least for me, I wouldn't do that. I don't see that. I don't see, the purpose in that, uh, I think the person offer sheet is if you look at if you look at a franchise and you think you have an opportunity to get a player, you do it. And, and we that's the that's the way we looked uh, at this one. Uh, but you, you look at some of the franchises and the free agents. Like I can talk about them right now uh, in Detroit. But Detroit's left seventeen plus million dollars to make because they have restricted agent restricted free agents. Anyone can talk to you right now, but. You know they they have they have the ability to match whatever is going to be there. So, uh, you know I, I know moving forward I'll speak for the St. Louis Blues that when we have good young free agents we're going to we're going to leave enough cap space there to sign those guys. Uh, and I, I think it's a it's a it's a double edged sword for a player. Also, uh, you know you can hold out to get an offer sheet. Uh, and and if you get it, you're the winner. You know, you 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 win if the team doesn't have. There also becomes a a point from a manager where he says, "I've had enough of this," and you're going to come back on a two or three year deal. That's exactly what I offer you, or else you you can sit the year out. That that's fine too. And so everyone has to play ball uh, to get these deals done. And uh, I'm looking forward to to with, with our group is making sure that uh, that we leave enough space to sign our own players. And uh, if a push comes to shove and they and it gets pushed, uh, they'll react and we'll react. And that's just that. But that's the nature of business where all 32 teams deal like that. Uh, and so, you know, I, I guess I just want to reiterate that this this wasn't anything against an, uh, an organization. This was an attempt for us to get better. And and that's the only reason we did it. And, and uh, it was successful and we would do it again. If, if we think it'd be successful uh, and, and I, and, and again, that, that code that I, that I have been hearing about, it, it's not true. It's, it's, it's managers do what they have to do for their franchises. And if they don't, they shouldn't be doing their job. Uh, it's like when you have two players uh, and, and I'll say Twister and Chaser, when they played together and then they played on different teams, they fought, they're great friends, they're best friends. Everyone has a job to do. You have to do your job. And so that, that's how we got to this point. I had to do my job.